Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage, home of DIY, mostly geared to the automotive, but here at Mix, you never know what you're gonna get. Today, we are going to be changing the engine oil on this 1999 Honda four-stroke, 40 horsepower. Uh, on a previous video, I changed the lower gear unit, uh, gear oil down at the bottom on the uh, prop, and today is the engine oil. So let me get set up and show you around some of the parts. Let me get this cover off first and then we'll show you show you some of the items here. So on this Honda 40 horsepower, you can see here's where we fill the oil. Here's where we check the oil. As you can see, it is a little overfilled, but the oil actually looks pretty clean and I did not change it last year. Uh, so I went through one whole summer without changing it. Take the cover off to uh, drain. There should be the oil drain plug right up inside there. And then here we got the oil filter tools. I've got the new oil filter and I got that on Amazon. I'll put the link. Just a uh, ratchet and an oil filter wrench. And I put the rubber on here to be able to grab and fit that. It always slides. And down here is just a flathead and a 12 millimeter. So that's all. Let me get the camera set back up on the stand and I'll start draining the oil. All right, y'all, we're set up here. This is where I should be able to drain it. I'm getting the rag ready. Got the oil pan down here ready to go. I haven't done this in a year, so I don't remember how fast this comes out. So we'll keep that rag sitting up here ready to go. Let me get this cover first, and I think this tips down, and then you use it as the, uh, the drain also. So I think you can set that in here. See how you can either take it off or lock it in. So I've got that cap off, and I think it sits right here so you can help drain into the pan. I want to show you up top. I just knocked that off. Right there's my 12 millimeter with the gasket on there. Let me get the camera set back up to drain it out and we'll uh, get her drained. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this loosened. You remember, you want to go this way with it. Oh yeah. Hold that off to the side for a second. This could be a mess. I do not remember. Let's get that oil pan ready. Oh, look at that, huh? Drains right off that cap. Nut looks pretty clean. Oil's a little dark. Not too bad though. Let me get this cleaned up. I'll get that uh, drain nut back on. Make sure the gasket's sealed pretty well. Then I'll work on getting that filter off. All right, got that tightened back up. Get this cover back on. Put that screw back in. Look at this sleeve comes out. Gotta watch that. The whole sleeve slides right out of here. All right, we've got that all tightened on right here. Now let's move up top and work on the oil filter. So I'll have to get that uh, set up. I'm gonna get some plastic under there and a rag. Make sure anything drops down, uh, we can get that uh, cleaned up. Let me move the camera so you can watch that. All right, here's your oil filter. Tap this oil filter on with a little rubber. It's just the oil filter. If you look, it, it slips. So I took an old bike tire, cut the uh, rubber the tube in half, and what I always do, it's a pain to get off then, but 
tap that on. And off she comes. Look at that. You ready? Let's see how much of a mess this makes now. Oh, look at that. None. Nice and clean. And now it is a pain to get off. That yeah, wasn't bad, actually. Got the new filter, remove this plastic, and I'm gonna open up the uh, the old oil, or the new oil, and get a little fresh oil on here. So before I do that, let me just make sure this is clean. And that should be all I need. All right, she's going to take 2.5 quarts. Uh, I've got a long funnel here. I was actually going to try to reach the top of that holding this. Uh, I've got the mark here. I want to go down one, two to here. Got a little more. I'll start checking elevation in there. Figured I'd better get the ladder out so I can reach the top of this. Give that one second to drain down. Perfect, just a touch high. So I'm supposed to be here, I'm right there. So I think when I turn the engine over, that'll drop good. I should start it, look for leaks down here, look for leaks around the filter, but I don't have the battery set up yet. So that's it. Thanks for watching Porty's Garage. If you like the content, hit give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.